Hello. We are back with more of this. Thero and Cleopatra. Thero with the Cleopatra Queen of the Nile expansion pack. Last time I said not expansion pack, I said something different and that was the wrong word. <laughs> Farming along the Nile. You must build farms directly on the floodplain in order to gain the benefits of its increased fertility. Unlike most working structures, farms on the floodplain do not need direct access to employees, but do need a steady workforce of peasant laborers supplied by work camps to tend their fields. Build work camps fairly close to floodplain farms, so peasants won't have to walk too far to reach them. Each year, the Nile floods its banks, replenishing the depleted soil on the floodplain with rich, fertile mud. Peasants harvest the additional... At it's very small, alright, so just, just calm with your saying I can't read, because I can, it's just very small. Peasants harvest the annual crop just before the inundation and deliver it to your granaries. Because there is only one harvest per year, make sure your city has enough granaries to store a sufficient amount of food for your growing population. So having it that fast is actually makes it slower because it means that I mess things up. So bump that down a little. And build all the stuff. Pardon me, I hope that you didn't hear that. <laughs> um, so, firehouse, police station. I don't think I need a village palace, but I'm gonna make one anyway. I don't know. Let's make one anyway. Uh, architects. Post. Work camp. Farm. Big farm. I usually build my farms down here, so I'm going to build them here this time. Something different. Ah, uh, mm, ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's not going to work. Um. Um, big fun. Okay. Find Osiris. Water supply. I forgot water supply in the last time. Uh, a little school. Some boots. There we go. And a festival square. I don't know how big they need to be. Where do they need to be? Is that right? No, that's not right. Do one over. Temple. 
Okay. Is that everything? I think I can... Well, I probably need more people. That'll probably happen pretty quick anyway, out of those. Oops, not sound, speed. Okay. Bring more raw water. And more people. Might need another granary. Now that you've given your people basic food and water, you can enhance their lifestyle with other goods such as pottery. Industry and pottery. Build a clay pit close to water and a potter nearby. Make sure these have access to labor as usual and before long, a cart will deliver clay to the potter who will create pottery for your city. Build a storage yard to store the final product as well as any excess clay the potter does not need. One clay pit can usually supply enough clay for two potters. Workers from the bazaar will collect the pottery from the storage yard and distribute it just as they do food. Industries like pottery also provide your city's inhabitants with much needed jobs. You can now call upon your overseer of the workers to assist in allocating your workforce. Okay, okay. Uh, build it over there. And two pottery potters. Potter. Okay. Well, look, I'll make another firehouse then. Put out the fire! Ridiculous. What was that anyway? <laughs> Juggler school, okay. a bug. Interesting. Oh, I've got uh, beautification also. Build. Maybe statue stuff. Great job! You've gotten some industry up and running. And now you can think about making a few improvements to your city. Beautification can be used to make some, some neighborhoods more desirable, while other municipal structures can help things run more efficiently. Gardens, statues, and plazas. By making the areas surrounding them more attractive, gardens, statues, and plazas can help houses to evolve. Several garden plots can be placed next to each other to form larger parks. Place plazas on paved roads to enhance their appearance and improve the desirability of nearby land. Roadblocks. Roadblocks can be used to guide your city's walkers. Some walkers have a specific destination in mind, while others do not. They simply roam the streets, bestowing their benefits on any buildings they happen to pass. Roadblocks prevent the passage of these walkers, but allow those with a specific destination to pass through and complete their errands. Water crossings. Ferries can help your city run more smoothly. Carefully placed water crossings let the inhabitants of your city reach otherwise inaccessible parts of the landscape to find prey or other valuable resources. In some cases, they can improve the timeliness of certain delivery people by shortening their journeys. Ah, stop fire in the city already. And stop wandering or walking or whatever. My area. I need apothecary and physician. What is the difference between apothecary and physician, anyway? Okay. 
Okay, beautification. Gardens. And, uh... Small statue. I want to make the cat. Oops, I have to go all the way through. Cat. Cat. And then garden. I want the long cat also, or whatever it is. That. Can't quite see them. Okay. Hold a new festival. Mission briefing. Population of 610 modest housesteads. Homestead. Man, these... I do have water so What? Where's my... Supplies over here. I'll just make another one. Probably because I haven't had enough people. I'll just make more people. And then we'll be fine. Why isn't the water guy walking around? Walk around, water guy. <laughs> okay. Probably will need another granary, won't I? Um, put it over here. Make some medium statue. Tall person, bird thing, crocodile person, lady. I think I want burb. Get burb. Rest can be gardens. Malaria, no. Okay. What do they need? Pottery. Should happen on its own soon enough. No road.
Victory. Yeah. Superb. Your own citizens are beginning to look to you as their caretaker, and neighboring cities also hail you as a provider in times of need. Good. Archaic period. During the Archaic period, the, the villages that emerged in the pre-dynastic... Pre-dynastic? Gradually unite to form the great kingdom of Egypt. The young civilization... ...founds a capital, secures its borders, masters the waters, and builds its first monumental tombs. Oh, it's up here again. In scattered settlements along the sacred Nile River, powerful chieftains emerge. Leading their people with strength of will and spirit. To tame the wild landscape. And bring forth the bounty of Egypt. Villages grow into prosperous cities. Bricks baked under the desert sun become sacred tombs to forever house the souls of their departed nobles. As the people who live along the Nile still struggle to survive in this harsh environment, a local king named Narmer has risen to power. Though Narmer has dominion over much of this land, full unification of the Twin Kingdoms has yet to be achieved. In commemoration of his accession, Narmer wishes your family to establish and govern a new city at Nekhen. Nekhen. This city will have Nekhen. temples to many of the gods of Egypt and, and numerous places of entertainment. Okay, cool. Beer. Your fellow Egyptians have perfected the art of brewing beer, which has become a very popular libation throughout Egypt. With a supply of barley received from local farms, brewers will make beer and deliver it to storage yards for future distribution by bazaar workers, as with food and pottery. Multiple gods. The patron god of this region is Ra, but Osiris and Bast are also worshipped here as local deities. Make sure this city has more temples and shrines dedicated to Ra, but don't neglect the local deities either. To accommodate your most valued citizens, make sure they have access to temples dedicated to different gods. More entertainment. Sophisticated Egyptians like to listen to music in their leisure time as well as take in the occasional juggling performance. While only jugglers can perform at the small booth, both jugglers and musicians can perform together at a bandstand. Build a bandstand at an intersection and a conservatory nearby to train musicians. Access to multiple types of entertainment greatly enhances the quality of life in any city. Law and order. <laughs> A magistrate patrolling from his courthouse helps to reduce the <laughs> risk of a crime <laughs> uh, by hearing grievances and making sure that cooler heads prevail. Got like a British voice for my formal pompous voice and an American voice for my reading out <laughs> stuff. Alright. Do that same thing that I did last time because that was cool. One, two, three, wait, that's like five. Wait, that's not what? Wait. What? That's. Yeah, no. Oh. That's five. Um. Okay. Firehouse, firehouse.
Architect's post, architect's post. Police station, police station. Yes, I'm getting to that. Shrine to Osiris. Shrine to Osiris. Where is this again? Shrine, shrine. Shrine to Ra. Shrine to Ra. Shrine to Ra. Shrine to Ra. Trying to bust. Trying to bust. And uh, beautification. Small statue. Cat. No. I want standing cat. Standing cat. Standing cat. Beautification. Okay. Work camp. Um. Brain. Brain. Oops. Brain. Brain. Um, I'm just saying the names of the things that I'm doing. It's not very, not the best commentary that I could possibly provide. I could improve on that, I think. Make this. And... How bizarre. How bizarre. <laughs> okay. Juggler school. And the other one, conservatory. Bandstands. Oh, like that. Okay. I don't have water. Um, storage yard. Raw materials, clay pits. Two potters. One, two. And brewery. Okay. Should be good to go. Alright. Now. Medium statue. Burb. I'm gonna go full burb. Always burb. 
there's two of them here. I'll get the village palace down here and um going to uh, make another one of each thing and move that roadblock Okay. My thingy is full. Build another one. I could probably make another brewery. I could probably make two breweries for each farm, maybe. I don't know. What was that? No access to any local religious facilities. What? Taxation. A large city needs to bring in additional revenue beyond its initial funding. One way to accomplish this is through taxation. In order to levy taxes, your city will need a palace and tax collectors. Make sure to rebuild enough tax collectors to cover the whole city, especially its more well-to-do neighborhoods. Remember, the better the quality of life enjoyed in a given home, the more taxes its occupants will pay. Your personal salary. If you build a mansion for yourself, you can draw a personal salary from the city's treasury. Personal funds are retained by your family to be used whenever the situation demands, even in subsequent missions. Beware, though, as awarding yourself a higher salary than is due to your position can have detrimental effects on your standing in the kingdom. Okay. Is it like that or is it one further back? No, that's correct. Old new festival to Ra. Collector. Still ending up with too much barley and stuff. I guess some more breweries are needed.
Okay. I don't have apothecary or physicians. You have honored Ra, and so your reputation throughout the kingdom is as substantially better than it was. Hmm. That mean I can... Oh, not a... F mm. Not a fire. That's bad. Um, that's one back than what it should be. Oh no, that's fine. Oh no, it's not. No. Ah, oh, no, stop. Apartments. Is that this one? Okay. Well, they, they've not got any food. Mm. There should be not really plenty of food. Okay. Fair call. No, I need grain. Okay for food from now on. Oh wait, I need to connect it to here. Okay. Pottery. 
Okay, uh, each one of those can make two of these. supplies any further until someone's available to unload them <laughs> what has he got straw but straw can go in there and this one's unusable i guess oh no employees live nearby oh i've got unemployment hmm. water source what I literally just walked past, didn't he? Oh no. I guess that's a different. There's the fire guy, not the water guy. The road system down here is confusing them. Instantly becomes full. Oh, but now the pottery can move around. That's what I was missing before. These can't get any water, it's ridiculous. <laughs> the water guy when we walk past there soon. But I should have this mission completed anyway. Soon enough. There we go. Clicked it already. Well done. Thanks to your capable leadership, Egyptian civilization has advanced considerably and will continue to do so in the coming decades. Good. 
After a lengthy struggle, King Hor Aha has managed to unite the twin kingdoms of Upper and Lower Egypt and proclaimed himself pharaoh over all Egypt. As a sign of his absolute sovereignty and the establishment of this, the first dynasty of Egypt, Hor Aha has ordered the founding of an imposing capital at Men Nefer, from which he may govern this fledgling nation. Because of your family's many generations of faithful service to this land, Pharaoh has chosen you to be the architect of this splendid city. Because the capital is the very symbol of our kingdom, its citizens must enjoy a quality of life heretofore unknown in this land. To this end, you will eventually need to trade with other cities in the realm and to provide a higher standard of education for at least some of your citizens. You must also build a sacred mastaba tomb for the city's nobles. Okay. I will do that in the next video. Big lot of land to use. Okay. Cool. I hope that you enjoyed that. And I hope that you have a good day. Peace.